Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome to back to the ethical hacking course. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about proxy chains. So you might be asking yourself, what are proxy chains? Well, proxy chains are a series of proxies that will basically give you anonymity or, or will anonymize anything that you're doing, whether it be, be uh, it being uh, you're performing an Nmap scan or you're performing a brute force attack or you're performing SQL injection or you're just browsing the web. This will basically anonymize anything that you're doing. Now, you might be asking, what's the difference between a proxy and a proxy chain? Well, proxies are usually found in browsers and they basically anonymize HTTP connections or web connections or things that you're doing on, on the internet. Whereas proxy chains will basically anonymize uh, all the activities that you're doing. Now, when, when using the penetration testing distros, proxy chains are already installed. So I would recommend if you're ever going to configure them, just use a penetration testing distro as it'll be much easier. So in this video, you can already see that I'm use, using Kali Linux. Uh, that's because I just want it to be a bit diverse. I don't want to select one distro and go with that. I'm going to use the different distros because I know a lot of you have different uh, distros and you you might feel that I'm ignoring those distros, but I'm not. So anyway, uh, this is basically proxy chains are installed on Parrot OS, on Kali Linux or even on Black Arc. So uh, since they're already installed, all you have to do is uh, open the terminal like you always should. And... Uh, we have to actually to configure the um, the proxy chains. We have to uh, use the proxy chains dot configuration file, which can be found uh, in the following directory. So the first thing we're going to use the nano editor, and we're going to say uh, etc or etc. That's the directory we're going to go into, because Kali Linux is already in the root directory. We then want to select the uh, proxy chains proxy chains dot configuration configuration.conf for it that's the dot configuration extension all right so uh, enter there we are very cool so it's using the nano editor and it's going to open the file so we're using proxy chains dot configuration version 3.1 that comes in the latest distros now let's start with the first thing that might uh, appear uh, new to you guys is these hashes here or these hashtags as they are called uh, well, basically, the hashes are just comments in the configuration file. Now, what I mean is, if you ever have done programming, you know that uh, when you comment, it's just for documentation. Well, these are actual commands, but they've been commented to turn them off. So I'll get to turning them off in a second. So don't worry about the hashes. Now, another important thing is this line here. Now, HTTP SOX4, SOX5, Tunneling Proxy Fire with DNS. These are basically the formats of proxies. HTTP proxies, are you're, you're very familiar with them. They're being used in the Tor browser. SOX4 are really not popular anymore, but they anonymize pretty well. And SOX5 is what we're going to, what, what I would recommend and what we're going to use in this video. And they'll basi basically, um, they'll anonymize everything that you're doing on your system. Um, all right, so we have explained what that is. Now, let's go down here into a dynamic chain. Now, this is the most important thing here. Dynamic chains are the most stable and the fastest proxies that you can use. And basically, the difference between a dynamic and strict and even a random chain. By the way, if you want to scroll down the configuration file, use your mouse wheel or use the arrows. I find the arrows much better because I can specify with a button or a key. So. As you can see, one of the lines is uncommented. We have the random chain. Now, don't worry about that. Let's actually just comment that for this um, for this video. What that means is that it's just going to use your IP address. So the proxies are really not active. If we want to activate a proxy, we'll, uh, we'll remove this hash and dynamic chains have been activated. So that means you're actually using a proxy right now. Uh, I'll get to configuring uh, the proxy in detail just in a, in a second. Now, dynamic proxies, each connection will be done via chain proxies, all right? So basically, this will, will go through a series of IP addresses or proxies in different countries as we will specify down below in the configuration section. So the reason why this is the fastest is because uh, basically it's it's going through uh, what I would I would say uh, is a very good system for proxies as you can see it's going to say here all proxies chained in the order as they appear in the list at least one proxy must be online 
we already know that dead proxies are skipped so it will not go through a dead proxy and then prompt you that the connection is not working uh, just ignore strict chains for now that's a bit of an advanced thing but basically strict chain will just stick to the ips that you've given it or the proxies that you've given it and it'll stay to most in most cases it will only use one of the proxies random chain is just a normal connection now in proxy dns requests in this section here i just want to explain something this is usually where the uh, beginners make mistakes what this means no leak for dns data what this means is um Usually, when con when basically anonymizing your system, uh, when you're performing anything really, you can use a proxy, but you have to also change your DNS. All right, let me explain why. Most of the beginners will use a proxy and it'll change their location every five to 10 minutes or even faster than that. So it's bouncing all ar around the world. You're using different locations, but your DNS is in, your, in the country you're in. So when a website like YouTube accesses or when you access YouTube, for example, it's going to log your IP. The IP will belong to, uh, let's say, France. And uh, and you, you've not changed your DNS. So your DNS will show your host country. Let's say your host country is Germany. And you're accessing using a proxy. YouTube will already know that you're using a proxy because they can see that you're using different IPs. And, but your DNS is in is one uh, is in one country, and from there they can track you, and you you get the idea. So always change your DNS uh, whilst uh, using uh, proxies. It just increases your anonymity, and just it makes you look uh, a bit professional, not like a a non professional would go about it. So um, let's go down to the proxy list format. All right, now this is again they'll give you like examples. Of how they would appear so I want you guys to pay attention to these formats here just go over these formats and just look at just understand the format we'll get into configuring uh, the proxy down below here so as you can see this is the proxy list down below and uh, basically it's using a SOX for uh, 127.0.0.1950 which is the Tor it's using the Tor proxy which uh, it's saying SOX for I know it's basically for HTTP so I'm going to get in the, uh, to in the next video using your own proxies. So otherwise, guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If it didn't help you, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you have any questions, again, hit me up on Kick, my social media. By the way, don't forget to follow me on my social media. On my social media excuse me. Uh, have a fantastic day. The next video is coming soon. In fact, it's coming in a few minutes. Peace.